guys, welcome to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. We are working on the Ford Mustang over there. I'm just going to try to get this done um, as quick as possible. So, uh, I'm not going to be talking much. I will talk, but not as much. Uh, just so you guys can see on how this... I guess goes together, even though you probably know on how these go together. So I hope you guys enjoy the episode. If so, give it a thumbs up. That really helped me out. And guys, please watch out for scammers on YouTube. Because, um, the reason why I say that is because... Some guy contacted me saying, oh, you should use this app. It regulates, um, it helps you get views and stuff, but you have to give them your YouTube account and stuff. Come to find out, they take all your money from that and... They basically take your YouTube account, change it to what they want to, and you get nothing no more, and you also have to start a whole new account because of that. Hold on, guys. It's called S. Zeus. So please stay away from that. Um, it is a scam and a fraud, so do not do that. If you see someone message you, don't reply to it. Delete the message. I'm just warning you guys because my YouTube channel, I almost fell for it. But I thought something was funny about it. So I got it looked at and it is a scam. There might be little cuts in the video because I think I forgot to put some parts on the car that I needed, but we will see when time comes. I'm going to start... Um, editing out like me like uh, flipping the engine over and stuff like that so it takes less of a video time it takes me about five six seconds to flip the motor over depending if the game actually wants me to flip it over because I had an issue the other time uh, off recording trying to flip the motor over it glitched, and even though I was still in the menu trying to flip the motor over, I was walking around, so I had to cancel it and then restart it, but I was able to get it the motor flipped over. Hold on, guys. Alrighty, so let's put the side manifolds on. push rods I'm going to stay quiet during the push rod so I can fast forward through them so it's not taking a while.
And it would also help cut down the video length. I'll do the spark plugs. Engine head covers are next. Just to have them on it. We'll finish the top of the motor first before we go to the front. I should have all the parts for it. I'm not too sure. Because I did by accidentally delete some parts um, prior to this recording, so I didn't mean to. I thought all my parts were in the garage warehouse, but they weren't. I will be not buying no vehicles until I actually sell every single vehicle in my garages, including the parking garage. So you won't see me buy any vehicles until they're completely empty. This is the most, like, um, tedious thing on this, is, like, building the motor and then going and building the car and hoping that you have all the parts to it. Didn't have the radiator. I guess don't have the battery. Okay, we can put the battery in. Let's do that, so we don't have to lower the car again. Let's do one side at a time. Easy on me when it comes to this. Make sure I'm super close to that so I can actually get it. I really hope I have the rest of the parts. As you can see, I really have no money at all to buy any other parts. Let's put these together. I already bought tires and everything for the car. And I already balanced them and everything, so we don't have to do that, because that takes up a real long time. This car is looking nice. I didn't even get to paint it or anything, either. And I don't even know if I have money to even pay for the seats that are in it. Unless I already did that, put them in. But I do not know. tire 
later on at a time. Once one side's done, the other the side that's done gets the tire. So we're not going up and down, up and down. Save some time. Maybe, not too sure. You never know. I just forgot I have a video uploading right now. It's like four o'clock in the morning. Like it's like five right now. Five AM. And I apologize guys if you are finding my channel um, different because um, I've had, well YouTube has this new thing out, I don't want to get into it because there's a lot to it, but uh, it has a new thing now where you have to make sure you have... Um, you have to select a whole bunch of settings. So people the under age of 13 don't view your videos. So every video I do is not meant for kids, even though it may be E for everyone. But if you guys didn't know, some swears that we may not consider swears, YouTube considers swears. So that's a big thing. That's one of the reasons why, like, even this game, I had to make it not for kids because I might swear by accident. Like, the hell. Hell is a swear word. Yep. So. I totally forgot that was even a swear word until someone told me. They're like, oh yeah, that's a swear word. Well, oops, I've been using it on my videos. God dang, it's a swear word to them, I believe. So you do have to watch out now on what you do. The only time that I'm going to have to lower this car is to put the motor into it. Oh, I don't have nothing, really? Uh, literally, I did put this whole entire car together to make sure this wouldn't happen. And I guess I by accidentally put the wrong things in the wrong area. Because I put it in the wrong warehouse. We'll see. Now the tires, well the outline of the tire is going to be in the way now, I think. I'm putting these bushings in. And the reason why I had to pause the video, um, or edit it out, um, I was getting hungry and I decided to make a hot dog sandwich. Yes, a hot dog sandwich, not a regular hot dog. And it's pretty spicy with habanero sauce, including peppuccino peppers on it. Yeah. I'll be in for a little zing.
I'm in the front of the car. Let's go to the mufflers. I really hope I have all the mufflers. We gotta wait and put the motor in. Oops. Install the motor. Put that to the next car because we'll work on that next episode. Uh, depending if we have any time to record putting this car together or that one. Probably not going to have enough time. I want to show you one of the new maps that we have due to the DLCs. Because I don't remember if I shown you guys. Probably did, but I don't remember because I haven't done an episode in probably about a couple of weeks. It's all 100%. And I even did the interior. Nice. Now time to see where the oil is. Pour some oil in it. Car does not start when there's no oil in it. Well, you can start it, but you'll ruin the motor. How much oil does this thing take? Did I overflow it and it spilt? Really? Okay, don't overflow your engine next time. Let's take it to the paint booth. Oh, can't paint it. So why even bother? Whoops. See dino test. Take it out to the speed track. See what we can do. Let's try it out. change the gearing on the car instead of four gears it has six and the max speed 200 on the gearing not the car so I don't know on how fast the car actually goes but we will see
196 is the top speed. Now, before I sell it, how much do you guys think it will go for? 100,000? 150? I mean, 100,000? 150,000? 200,000? What's your estimate? Put it down in the comments below if you'd like to. You guys don't have to. Let's see on how much it cost. Alrighty guys. Three, two, one, sell. Two hundred and fifty-three thousand eight hundred and eighty. Nice chunk of change. Alrighty guys, this will be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. Every comment, subscription, or every comment, every time you guys subscribe. Every time you like, that always helps me out more and more and more. Have you guys noticed this toilet paper there? Oh, that ain't toilet paper, that's sandpaper. Alrighty guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace.